So that now, speaking of bridging the gap, what do you say to those residents or corporators who feel unacknowledged or feel neglected? And why is it so important if you do feel that way to vote on October 6th, especially if you do live in Marshall Village? I say to you guys who are feeling um, unacknowledged, maybe a little um, unappreciated, I say to you guys, don't give up. Come out, exercise your voice. That is the most powerful thing that you have going for yourself, is your voice. Come out, express it. We want to hear it. It's not everybody that is saying, we don't want to hear what you have to say. We need to hear what you have to say. Yeah. We want to hear what you have to say, but more importantly, we need to hear what you have to say. And just look at me and use me as your encouraged booster. You sometimes feel discouraged, like you're not being heard, and but it doesn't mean that you give up. Right. You still have to, because somebody at the end of the day is listening. Somebody. So you may not have all 15 board members that are listening, but you do have a few. And if you can grab a hold to those few, then you can get things accomplished. I love that. I love that. Now, what do you think is the biggest misconception between Rochdale Village residents and management and the board of directors? I want to say that management doesn't care. Um, that's a big misconception. Um, we don't live in a perfect world, okay? Really? And we, so if I'm dealing with just 15, 14 other personalities, okay. management is dealing with almost over 30,000 <laughs> personalities. So, don't feel slighted, right. and, and because I can say personally, I work closely with them. Yes. And um, like I said, they're not perfect, and they have a lot of things that they need to work on as well, too. But so do we. So I feel like, you know, um, everybody deserves a chance. But like I said, it's, 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 it's bridging the gap. It's It's... Somebody needs to try and work at bridging that gap because otherwise we're going to be stuck. Exactly. <laughs> and we won't see improvement. And we're never going to see improvement. Yeah. And we keep pointing the finger and the blame and here and this and that and that. Yeah. And one of the things is too, you know, we have the misconception also, I believe, is corporates feeling like they don't have power. Oh. And you do have power. You do have power, so that's that. That's something that you know people have to understand too. Your power is when you come out. Your power is when you join that Zoom. You know, if you don't like something, what do you do? You try to change it. You don't have to change it by yourself. Yeah. You have people in the community. We have to unite. Right. You. We have to unite. Strength is in numbers. If you're, if, if we have. 6,000 people that come out, well, 6,000 apartments. Yeah. A little wonder we are at, a little wonder here at Rochdale, but you only have 500 representatives from those apartments. That speaks volumes. You can't blame management and the board for everything. You right. have to say, okay, at what part as a shareholder do we play in it? True. So shareholders, you have power. But you have to exercise it. And how do you exercise it? You get involved. You come out. You 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 speak your what what you feel. Right. Somebody's listening. Somebody's listening. But realistically things don't happen overnight either. Oh, absolutely like, not. You can't just accept it. Just no. assume they will change the next day. No, not at all. It may not even happen in the year. Yeah. But you have to build towards the progress. Right. You know. You have to build so it progress does come a little bit at a time, right. but it takes not giving up. True. Yeah. It takes uh fighting a good fight of faith. <laughs> <laughs> now, when the pandemic first started, what was the response like from the board and how did you guys deal with overall challenges within the community and, and health concerns? I think that the 
Lori responded pretty well, given the situation. My colleagues were quick to call in aid from some of our elected officials. They reached out to other organizations to bring in food for our seniors daily. Our seniors are being fed. Um, our maintenance staff were um, considered essential workers. We had uh, the COVID testing come here on our yeah, premises. I remember the trucks. Right. We also had the um, COVID vaccine shots. We were like one of the first um, communities um, in Southeast Jamaica to bring the COVID vaccine here. We had our governor come and um, address COVID issues right mm -hmm. here. Um, we had our um, Queensborough president mm -hmm. come in um, with supplies of masks and give out um, masks. So I think, you know, given the situation, again, like I said, I think that we handled it the best that we knew how. Right. And overall, um, our community was protected. Um, we did lose some people, but it wasn't a direct, it wasn't directly from something that Rochdale neglected, yeah. but it was just something that was, we couldn't prevent. So. And this was a global pandemic. This affected the world. You know what I mean? Yes.